when it comes to commuter parking, and this is relating directly to our warden experience on the other paper, um, in terms of commuter parking, I think the balance between the on-street regime and the car parking regime is really important. Do you get the car parking regime right so that you take the commuters off our residential streets? Or do you create it so onerous so that they are forced onto our residential streets? And then the only solution you wind up with is residence parking. And why would residents in some streets have to have residence parking when it's the only solution that's open to them? Why are we forcing them down that? There needs to be a real balance and a real understanding in the role that town centre car parks can play in dealing with the commuter parking problem and when we've introduced residence parking because in some ways it works and some places it doesn't and officers know this you simply move it on you move it on and you move it on and you move it out wider and wider and wider around the town center so the making of a service and it is a service this isn't just a process of making money or issuing permits it's a service to residents making that affordable for the residents of the borough on a permit basis is really important dealing with the commuter issue so that you actually, in effect, how do you create good neighbourhoods? That's the final point I want to leave you with, Chair. How do we actually create good neighbourhoods surrounding our town centre where parking is not a daily battle of going out and remonstrating with a commuter for what the hell are you doing parking out the front of my home because I ain't going to get to park there in an hour's time or when I come back from where... That kind of issue, that real intense ASB issue, which is genuine, needs to be tackled in this policy and all these principles if we're going to deal with it seriously. Because at the moment, the, the, the two don't marry up easily. And that leaves Martin's officers in a really difficult position when they're walking around the track and trying to deal with enforcement because they're getting in the ear from residents of why is this that and why is it the other. There needs to be, I think, a bit more coherence to this than is at the moment. It's moving in that direction, but I don't think the policy at the moment and some of the principles is coherent enough maybe to meet some of those objectives. But it's getting there slowly. Thank you.